Hey, what's going on, Sagittarius? Welcome back to the Jewelry Box. It's your girl, Empress Gem. I hate to drop those jewels. This is your love quickie for March 2022. So go on right now, thumbs up this video, subscribe if you have not, comment below, and share the video, guys. Share the love, equal energy exchange, but share, share, share. Okay, that's why we're here. Each one, teach one, right? So Sagittarius, this is a general message. Will resonate highly with your Venus and your moon, but you can also be looking for your sun and your rising, or however as you resonate with readings as Sagittarius, okay? And for my cross watchers in the back, how we know y'all's be here, how? All right, so let's see. Divine Holy Spirit, what do we have here for Sagittarius? If we don't get a papa in the first three, we cut and we take it off the top. <laughs> so Sagittarius, you have life is a great big canvas. Throw all the paint on it you can, okay? I feel like you're speaking up. You're speaking up about what it is that you know, okay? You're going after your dreams. I'm really picking up your energy heavy as hell. Like, I'm seeing the travel. I'm seeing the free spirited, the free thinker. I'm ready for a new adventure. I'm going out after it. I'm doing it, okay? Like, I'm going to love you. You going to love me, okay? And we going to get it on. Or I'm, I'm screwing you tonight, and that's just what it is. Love is love right now, okay? That's just what I feel right now with true Sagittarius. Heavy, truly, and entirely. Underneath the deck, yeah, stop criticizing yourself. You are perfect just the way you are. Ophikius had this card. And I feel like, you know, you could have been in a low space at one point, but now you just realize, you know what? I can do whatever I want. I am a limitless being. I do not have to be subjugated to somebody else's thinking or what somebody else is saying to me. Ooh, y'all got some big words. <laughs> oh, shit, Sagittarius. <laughs> What's going on? So, but no, beautiful energy here, right? Like, you're just realizing, like, you know, you don't need somebody to complete you. Or, like, what people say about you really doesn't matter anymore. Like, you're just going to enjoy life for what it is, okay? It is what it is. You're going to love who you're going to love. You're going to enjoy being by yourself if you're going to be by yourself. If somebody want to mess with you, then they're going to mess with you. If not, then not. If they want to come and help you draw. If they want to be the red to your blue so y'all can come together and make purple with this magician energy under here, then that is just what it is, right? So, let's get it. We're going to cut, take the three off the top, look into you personally of your love life, past, present, future for the month of March. So in the recent past, Sagittarius, you have the sixth of spring and look at you looking all glorious and wonderful. Leo energy here, but wonderful news is on its way. Smart choices that bring reward, success and public recognition, right? Yeah, you realize this shit or you're realizing currently right now as you get ready to move into your present, true present energy. But in the recent past, you realize that, you know, you good. You good by yourself. Like she rolling it on this horse by herself. You good by yourself or with somebody, okay? It really doesn't matter. Like I feel like you could have been dealing with individuals or people who um try to make you feel low of yourself, okay? Make you feel like you weren't worthy of love or worthy, like capable, able, you know, stable, okay? But you're just like, you know what? It's all good. Like I don't have to deal with you. There's people who want to deal with me. If you don't, I'm all good here. I'm good, love, and joy, right? So presently, yeah, the will, because it's turning in your favor. Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, and Taurus energy. But the delays are over. Sudden or unexpected good luck, a new car, or travel. You know, you good at moving by yourself. New cycles is coming in. You're making shit happen for yourself. All right, you're following your passions, your desires. And like I said, you're going to love who you're going to love. You're going to mess with who you're going to mess with. You're going to entertain who you're going to entertain. It is what it is. You don't, you don't, it doesn't matter what everybody else got to say anymore. You don't care what folks say, what they think. Um, You're not looking for their validation or their approval of your new person or whatever. Like, yeah, you know who you dealt with in the past, but that is nothing of the person you're dealing with now. Okay. And it's not who you are now. So. People want to think how they think about you back then. The back then, hoes didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all on me. Mike Jones, who? Okay. So I feel like the will is turning in your favor. Something could have took place in October or will take place in October that really propelled you to get to where you are today. Okay. So in the future, here you go, Sagittarius. This is your energy. Granted, it says balance. So I always think a Libra, but 14 is you. Okay. Sagittarius, here you are. 
but you're balancing yourself out. By the end of the month, you are so in your energy. It's not even funny anymore. Like you are untouchable when it comes to you and your love life. You are in control of your love life and you know exactly what you're doing, who you doing and how you doing it. You know why you doing it. Shit, you know where you're doing it. Okay. But take everyone's input into consideration. Merge viewpoints to create a better solution. Take your time. There's no need to rush. Don't rush. Go touch. Like, yeah, you getting nice. You getting decked out. You going to hang out. You about to go have fun. Okay? You're enjoying you right now. Major moves because you realize who the hell you were about a week ago. Okay? Underneath the deck, two of autumn showing up. Capricorn energy. But bring fun into everything you do. Juggling multiple priorities or jobs and exceptional talent for multitasking. Shit, you could be talking and dating. You could really be out here dating right now and people talking about you. But oh well, you're not about to settle down. You're not really ready to do that, okay? You are balancing yourself out. You're not trying to rush into no commitments, okay? You're allowing yourself to know Sagittarius and know exactly what it is that you want. And again, you out here looking for that red, okay? So that y'all can come together on your canvas that you already splatter some blue on and make purple baby okay hell yeah got options then <laughs> got options a eh? yeah all right all right could be a cancer energy here but you move it on okay and that could be that new car looking good in that shit all right somebody from your past could be trying to come forward and come into you okay six of cups scorpio energy yeah, you been waiting. You been waiting. You knew they ass was coming. Mm -hmm. You knew they ass was coming. So let's see, Divine Holy Spirit. Let's get the tarot. What's popping out? Yep, two of wands. I feel like there was just a decision that needed to be made here. And I feel like you are calling. Yeah, you're calling judgment. Judgment is flipping. You're calling, mm -mm, you're calling judgment. But you got somebody around you who is watching who's nosy. Somebody who wants to stop what you got coming in. Somebody don't want to see you had this, okay? I feel like you narrowed down your options and you're, you chose the best one. You know exactly who you want to deal with. And that's what's going to bring about this balance. And that's why it's like there's no rush right now, okay? Like, you're in control. The will is changing. It's turning for you. Uh-oh. -uh. That's ugly. Can we recut? Yeah. Nope. Okay. So let's keep. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right, Sagittarius. Yeah, somebody is um is at a loss for words. They can't believe it. Like, you moved on. Like, you really chose somebody. Like, you're really trying to do this. Like, somebody can't believe that shit. Let's see. Main energy between you and this person. The tower. Mm-hmm. Shit is shocking as fuck. It could be shocking that you're choosing them. It could be shocking that you're letting their ass go. We're going to see as we go further down and see who this other person is. But Scorpio Aries energy here, okay? Foundation was faulty as shit already. It was already rocky. It was already unstable. That shit had to come down. It wasn't right. Sagittarius, yeah, you laid it to rest. Libra energy brought justice to this, and you just let it go. The six... I see that six of cups up here this past. You let this shit go. You're not fucking with it no more. And I feel like this is where that shakeup is because you realize you could, you're a movement by yourself. But I don't feel like y'all was a force together though. But you was definitely a movement by yourself. You seen some truth. You realize something true. And you taking that shit to the grave. You know why you leaving this person. They probably had you on a third party or some shit with somebody from the past or whatever. But you realize that shit. You could even got a download in your dream. You like, you know what? I'm not dealing with this. I'm I'm staying with my truth. I know what the fuck going I know what the fuck is going on. Yeah, this person is the Empress. So you could have laid something to rest with your past here so that you can go towards this Empress energy. Or this could be a mother figure, baby mama, okay? A Libra or a Taurus. But <sighs> the person that you have in mind, they just sitting there being cute, being pretty. Waiting, getting their shit together, continuing to build their foundation, all this wheat, watching their crop grow, okay, getting their shit, because it's just smelling good, this bitch is fine, or this dude, it don't matter, but they are relaxed right now, they good, they know who they are, they're confident as hell, okay, this person knows how to love, they know how to make that money, they know how to communicate with you, and I feel like it's a shake up right now, but there's tower energy going on between the two of you guys, so what's the problem, justice, Somebody getting out of a situation could be dealing with a Libra here. 
but there's justice that needs to be brought to the situation, period. And this could be because, like I said, with you and this four of swords, you need to lay something to rest here. And that's what's holding this up from you getting to this actual empress who's just sitting there minding their business. Like, so what you going to do? <laughs> okay, so Sagittarius, your advice is to truly let something go. You need to move forward, six of swords. That's six swords between this and that four swords of the energy you're in. Right now, you're just sleeping and you're resting. I feel like you're sleeping on your potential. You're sleeping on this empress. And in order to bring about this justice to clear out, you know, this karmic, this debt, you need to truly lay it to rest and just let bygones be bygones. Like, totally remove it from your mental, your physical. Just not deal with it anymore. Cut off communication. Block this person and just do the work. Just heal through what you know to be true here. Okay? This person's advice. Be pretty. Be nice. Wait for this cup of love. Hell, to even offer love, to love and nurture you, to fill up your cup could be this person's advice as well. Because I feel like you could be going through a rough time right now, okay? Going through possibly a recent breakup or, you know, just a lot of mental conflict and shit, okay, that you're trying to get away from. I feel like, you know, you're successful in your own, okay? Things are looking on an up and up, but it's like it's that one thing missing. It's like this empress is sitting there minding her business, but she might have to get up off that throne a little bit and offer you this cup here, okay? Um, what's the outcome? Slowest moving nights in the deck, but there's some sort of offer of commitment that is there, but it's still just taking some time. Again, I feel like the will can speed up and things can finally balance out by the end of the month. This horse can actually hop onto a faster horse. But again, this is all about whether or not you're going to completely dead a situation that you're dealing with. Okay. So underneath the deck. Yeah. There's a relationship here on the line, one that can come, one that can happen. I feel like, you know, you also could be feeling like that you're almost not good enough to be in this committed relationship or to be with this empress. But again, this is where you need to stop criticizing yourself and understand that they love you and want to offer you this love, okay? They want to have this beginning with you. They want to share with you. But you have to get out of that mindset that you're not good enough for this person, that you can't level up to them. You need to get up off your ass Stop dragging your feet, all right? And Sag, you could be on this other side, but I read how I read. So take it how I need to read, Nate, right? But you got to get up off your ass, get out of that mindset that you're not good enough, that you won't fulfill this person because you will. Like, they want you. They want this love, okay? Yeah, get out of this regret. It could be a missed opportunity. Um, This could be coming back to balance out a situation if there is a shakeup between you and this empress. Again, you need to release some shit that you are holding on to. I feel like, you know, you're doing well, okay? Like, you on the up and up, okay? Making shit happen, okay? Getting your work done. But again, when it comes to this love thing, you are mentally trapped somewhere. It's a little jacked up gotta let that come down yeah continue to love yourself first i do feel like that could be an issue here um you need to pour some more love into you okay a lot more self-love here yeah healing family issues here i wanted to say you could have kids with somebody this empress is is a mother she could have kids or whatever um hell she could want to have a baby with you but you caught up in your head and you're not sure you know if you can do this or whatever again it could be rude, like, there could be stipulations. It could be like, I don't want you to be my baby mama. Because I was about to say that about the Empress when I was like, you know, it could be a this, a, mom, a mother, a baby mama. And then I wanted to say, you know, I don't even like calling the Empress a baby mama. Not in an upright position. Because every time I think of, you know, the mama, baby mama, I save the drama for your baby mama type energy. And I don't feel like she's that. She doesn't want to be that, okay? This could literally be tying this person down, marrying this person, okay? That's what this justice could be. Okay, actually doing right, offering this true, real commitment that you're dragging your ass on. Again, because she could want children, you could want to get this person a baby, she could want to give you a baby. But again, it's about doing right by her because she knows her worth, or he, whoever this empress energy is. Okay, yeah, past life relationship here. Clearing out karmic debt, I said that, right? Let your friends help you. I just heard some... Some friends ain't the best friends. You need to love yourself. If you were letting your friends help you and the shit was going haywire, fuck them friends because they're not looking out for your best interest. They could be the ones that's making you feel low and that criticize like you're not good enough. Like, yo, don't even go back. Like, she doing her thing or he doing this thing. They ain't going to want you, you know, blah, 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 blah. 
Don't listen to them. Work on yourself, Sagittarius. Get out of that mindset. Folk, love yourself, okay? Because that is how you're going to attract in this empress, okay? So final message here for Sagittarius, Divine Holy Spirit, please. And thank you. Whoa. Huh? Yep, unrequited love. And I, that's what I feel like. You feel like the love isn't there, but it's nothing but love on this empress side. Okay, you sitting in here in this five of cups for no reason. Ooh, and the five of wands as I picked that up. You sitting in this five of cups, five of wands energy, okay, conflicted on how to do, what to do, people competing, trying to tell you that, no, this person ain't going to want you, they ain't going to want to have this two of cups, and you you don't even realize that this two of cups is here. They want, they want this two of cups, but again, you need to make a decision here. What are you going to do? What do you want? How are you going to do this, okay? But there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I said, go ahead and say it real quick. So, yeah, for some of you guys, you could be dealing with a baby mama because all these cards were upright in this deck. So, you could be dealing with one who really wants a relationship with you and you're probably like, no, I don't want this shit. And the tower could be coming down on this relationship even though this person keeps trying to offer you love and you don't want it. It's like you need to just say what the fuck it really is so that you can get away because right now I feel like it's slowing down your progress towards going towards anything, especially your money, all right? So, yeah, religious factors, and you know this. Intuitively, you know this. But your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and your spiritual path. Spiritually, internally, you know what the fuck is up, okay? This person may not be your rad, okay? Story goes two ways, all right? That might be our title. But, yes, Sagittarius, that has been your message. Y'all officially have been the longest person. But until the next time we speak, peace out. <laughs>